Well, hello there, Timmy. Whoa, easy now. I'm on your side. Oh, what's the matter, Timmy? Has the Mayan mutant robot zombie apocalypse got you down? Tired of baked beans again? Well, how would you like to go to an all-new furry convention? Then you should go to F Squared! The end is just the beginning! That's right! Come join us at the end of February near Milwaukee, Wisconsin for the time of your life! Hell at the Sheraton Hotel in Brookfield, Wisconsin, this fine establishment is fully equipped and ready for all your fuzzy needs. From shaking your tail off at the dance, to buying art in the dealer's den, and you will find that we have the finest rooms available to accommodate your every need. To tell you more, here's con chairman and part-time maniac, Alkali Bismuth. Foxhole, I know all about that. Oh, hi there, I didn't see you come in. My name's Alkali Bismuth. You may remember me from such occurrences as last night in your bedroom when you slept, and IFC, the Wonder Cat. But I'm here to tell you about an exciting new occurrence that's happening right in your backyard. That's right, well, if you live in Wisconsin. Right in someone's backyard. That's right, F squared. But why tell you about this exciting new convention when I can sing about it through interpretive dance? And a one, and a two, and a... Sorry about that. Planned Parenthood asked me to never do that again. Now let me tell you about some of the encounters you'll be having at F Squared. Our guest of honor, Sema Jayhawk, famous host of Whose Line Is It Anyway? Crazy Corgi, the artist of honor and famous fursuiter. The inanimate Carbon Rod. Xander the Blue will be in attendance, including The Bulge. And many, many more. Now, if you wander around the con space, you might find yourself amidst some of our panels. In this case, a panel is an occurrence where a presenter presents information or dick jokes to an audience. Panels like Whose Line Is It Anyway? Lupus and Abula, The Open Mic Comedy Hour, The Furry Variety Show, Moving Picture Video Games, A Foodie Drink Full for our sponsors, Eight Loin Claws, A Kettle Prod, and many, many dances! That's it, Timmy. Work those legs! So come join us for F Squared in Milwaukee, Wisconsin in February of 2014. It'll be more fun than a radioactive bag of cats. Oh, hi there. I'm Alkali Bismuth. You rem- Oh my, I didn't even know an elephant could do that in Africa. I'm Alkali Bismuth. You may remember me from such cons as Indie Furcon. The fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was distracted. Oh god. There's like there's guys putting on makeup. <laughs> I'm here today to talk to you about an exciting new A sighting? That's okay. No, it is not. <laughs> Foxhole, I know all about that. My name's Alkali Bismuth. You may remember me. You may be right, me, bro. <laughs> oh my, Big Bertha, you are a battleship. Oh my, sailors and elephants? <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop it. <sighs> it's porn! I'm literally looking at porn! <laughs> It's not even a joke! <laughs> oh my, 100 push-ups? Go for 120. Hmm, kamikaze, kamikaze him. These pictures are awful. <laughs> AK-47 times that night. Planned Parenthood asked me to never do that dance again. Oh, it's real. <laughs> he put these rota in here. I was expecting apple juice. <laughs> oh, I'm so Conventions. happy. Conventions. <laughs>
herpes. <laughs> I can taste the peaches and the gay. So let me tell you about some of the encounters you'll be having at whose line is... So let me tell you about some of the encounters you'll be having at F Squared. Xander's dick, it'll be out in the open. He'll be wandering around, dick flapping in the wind. Wappa, wappa, wappa. Wappa, wappa. You should do an outtakes for this. Oh, Show we will, it. we will. You want a physicist to speak at your funeral. You want the physicist to talk to your grieving family about the conservation of energy so they will understand that your energy has not died. You want the physicist to remind your sobbing mother about the first law of thermodynamics, that no energy gets created in the universe and none is destroyed. You want your mother to know that all your energy Every vibration, every BTU of heat, every wave of every particle that was her beloved child remains with her in this world. You want the physicist to tell your weeping father that amid energies of the cosmos, you gave as good as you got. At one point, you'd hope that the physicist would step down from the pulpit and walk over to your broken-hearted significant other. Tell them that all the photons that ever bounced off your face, all the particles whose paths were interrupted by your smile, by the touch of your hair, hundreds of trillions of particles have raced off like children, their ways forever changed by you. And as your significant other rocks in the arms of a loving family, may the physicist let them know that all the photons that bounced from you were gathered in the particle detectors that are their eyes. That those photons created within them constellations of electromagnetically charged neurons whose energy will go on forever. And the physicist could remind everyone of how much all of our energy is given off as heat. There may be a few people fanning themselves with the program as he says it. And he will tell them the warmth that flowed through you in life is still here still a part of all that we are, even as we who mourn continue in the heat of our own lives. You'll want the physicist to explain to those who loved you that they need not have faith. Indeed, they should not have faith. Let them know that they can measure, that scientists have measured precisely the conservation of energy and found it accurate, verifiable, and consistent across space and time. You can hope your family will examine the evidence and satisfy themselves that the science is sound and that they'll be comforted to know that your energy is still around. According to the law of the conservation of energy, not a bit of you is gone. You're just less orderly. Well, I guess all of you have Jesus Christ! Five dick-shaped things! <laughs> Welcome back to Pepper Coyote! <laughs> this stupid dwarf who just does nothing but drink all Don't the time. Don't call me stupid! Smash table with my ass! <laughs> Seriously? Enough with the ass! Or we want you to check your dollar bill. Check my telegram. Alright. I didn't think I'd fall for a gay Andre the Giant. <laughs>
For a second there, I thought the band in the background just said state. <laughs> this is not how you smoke! <laughs> Stocks and bonds. 23andMe has traced back his lineage to the homeland of Gritty, America's favorite cross-checking coke addict. I made us here. I made him came up here and absolutely killed. There's not a lot of bad things I can say about him, but I can write them down and he'd never be able to read it, so here we go. <laughs> My mate is like a tornado of shit inside of my house. <laughs> I have had more property damage than him than New Orleans did in trail off your sentence here so you don't get shot. <laughs> yeah, oh yes we do. Oh yes we do! Right yeah. in the butt! Damn, I got it right in the butt! What? Xander! Xander! Right in the butt! How oh, can I fucking get popcorn? Parents? Watch him! 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 Yeah! Japan is great, you should go to Japan. Japan is great, they all hold all your hands. They smell underwear right out of machines. Japan is great, you know what I mean, no Japan. We are totally oh, having a wet t-shirt down. My pizza! God pissed on my pizza! That's the name of this episode. <laughs> Do you have a better idea? Yes, I do. I'm not here! Oh, oh, he 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 kept it in the cup! He kept it in the cup! You're leaving the space door open. I love the space door. What the? Why are you leaving the space door open? I love the space door open. I'm... Don't leave the space door open. People fly out the space door. I was born if in a space door. you leave the space bar. door open. The final bottle of my favorite tequila has been drank. That came in a wooden box. Begin the Viking funeral. The HMS Anyway and the blood ritual, one of which is... <laughs> You guys want some carrot? No. Oh, oh, oh shit, want he wants some carrot! Whoa! What? Yeah, bitch, get eaten! Oh, yum, yum, yum! Oh, oh, God! The hole. Oh, no! What? What? Oh, oh no! no. I two bunnies! Oh, my God! Oh! Oh! They're fucking in your mouth!
kind of clearing. Forget your eyes and trust your nose. Find a ferret that'll butter your pancakes. Meet a dragon that wears a robe. Are you starving for cobalt kisses? Would you tell him a joke? Anyway, I'm seeing Sandy but Alkali is not here. Hello, welcome to Sunday Brunch. That's Brunch and Sunday together. I'm I'm Zanny. This is Alkali. <laughs> what? I'm not here. We are the Dragon Show. It's nighttime. At least here it is. Should I make it more of a brunchy brunch? Yeah, it's, it's, it's nighty night. It's nighty night. It's not. It's Aww. raining outside. It is the perfect relaxing day. That's fair. We hope all of you are sitting at home, drink in hand, desktop audio on. Yep, I got it. I Thank got you. it. Now we got musics. Oh, musics. Musics. You know, Danny, we had to move no. from Rio. We got kicked out again. Uh, our thongs were too tight. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, and when a thong tries to hold the mass of the Dragon Show, we're not embellishing. Worlds collide. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It. Yeah, no, that just happens. You can't do that. That goes against well, physics. Someone saw my lack of bulge in my body, and their head literally exploded. So Absolutely. They called the cops. You got, I mean, that's why I had to, we had to run. Well, I mean, that's yeah, where I you it. go whenever you make somebody's head explode, like in a student film. Absolutely. Yeah, no, that's usually, good morning, <laughs> hello, everyone. That would be my student film, just dropping some knowledge on an old guy, like, they've never heard it before. <laughs> like, dude, capitalism runs everything. I just show him, <laughs> That'd be an amazing moment. It's like, I've never thought of that before, young man. The closest I ever got was my coworker coming up to me two weeks after we got into an argument and said, okay, fine, I see your point. Maybe we should pay people a living wage. Like, it was genuinely, had never considered. Oh, yeah. Never considered, like, oh, yeah, I see why that would be good for the whole. All I was thinking was the fact that I own a restaurant. Oh, of course. And those lazy bastards need to know that their salary reflects my inability to run a business. I suck at it. I'm horrible. I'm horrible and should not own this job. So I pay them less so that I can make money. I didn't think that was wrong. I, uh, mm, why didn't I ever think that making money myself off the back of my employees was a bit. Mm. I'm not going to do anything about it, but I agree that you were right. <laughs> and that was an actual argument I had. It was. We were just talking about that, actually, with the co all the COVID stuff. Yeah. Happened, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, I love that. Yeah, someone near me, uh, who lived near me had a restaurant that had, was very much in that situation where they weren't willing to pay their employees and they didn't want to come in to die or to risk their lives or whatever, you know. But he's like, ah, oh, I can't run my business. Hey, one, two, three. I mean, hey, my smoke. independent business, what am I supposed to do? Right, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. That's your fucking problem. That's like everybody's problem. Like, why are you so special? Oh, it's, it, yeah. it blows my mind. Like, he genuinely, for two weeks, oh, was yeah. like, no, no, of course I have to pay my employees less or else I, the, the job goes under. It's like, well, if you're not making enough money to sustain the job and pay the people that work for you, maybe, 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 maybe you don't get a business. Maybe. 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 How dare they? They should be replaced by robots. <laughs> oh, my God. Beep, boop. Oh, Atlas, it's my favorite argument because of the people I used to work with. Beep, bop, boop. Beep, bop, boop. Beep, bop, boop. No, I always think about, like, uh, no, I'm sure... When you're, you're when you're young and full of piss, 
Okay, I don't know why I said that. But did that hey, Moonbringer, on? thank you for the sub. I don't know if I saw that. Sorry. Oh, spunk. Young and full of spunk, not Young piss. and full of spunk. Well, that's true, too, yeah. Which also sounds horrible. Chicago Times. Young and full of spunk. To those who are young, but over 18, and, and full, full of, of spunk. spunk. And here's, here's to you, here's, here's to me, forever, forever friends, we shall, shall be. And if, if we, we ever disagree, disagree fuck you, you. Here's, here's to me. me. Mm. And uh, to your surgeries, absolutely on Wednesday. Oh fuck yeah, dude! All of us wish you the best of luck. Let us know how it uh, comes in. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be. Can't come out in that. I'm sure it'll be a chest of plentiful. Chest of plentiful. I couldn't figure out how to pun my way into chest that. Of plentiful? Chest of plentiful. Chest of plentiful. You'll have the community chest. Aw. The community chest, Atlas. You'll be the most Atlas. popular at Monopoly. That community chest will be a get out of jail free card. Oh, I just having fluff, fluff, flu. Thank you for that resub. Uh, Smoke was asking, which by the way, thanks for the follow, Smoke. Uh, we might have missed a few right during the uh, credits there, the opening credits. Smoke was wondering why it's so dark outside. It is raining in Chicago for the first time in uh, about two, a week and a half to two weeks, and uh, I caused it. Yesterday, I mowed the back lawn. Uh, and because our back lawn is new, freshly planted grass as of last summer, I thought, well, it hasn't rained in a while. I should stay on top of this. I watered the lawn for five minutes. I just wanted some water on it. And I knew yesterday that it was going to rain. Didn't know it just start this morning. Just a beautiful, dreary day. The gray coming in through the blackout curtains that are no longer blackout curtains because our windows don't make a solid seal, so they kind of blow out and light up Zanny's face. They look like an angel. Aww. A wide awake, sun in their fucking eyes angel. <laughs> mm. Mm. God, I, I thought Smoketail said, you smoke? I was like, sweet summer child. No, it's your smoke. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, my like, God. Yes, we do smoke. Oh, Pat Robertson. Isn't he dead now? Pray. Pat Robertson? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's he a is. crazy preacher. I can't remember which one he is. Rainbow's uh, cause. As long as we have right farting right. preacher. Yeah, long, no, we still have farting form. preacher. We're farting all good. Farting preacher is, our, is here to really convey what I think about. Anyway. Uh, See, and what you just said there is the entire problem with the news. Of course we want Fighting Preacher to be around. They're entertaining. But that's the news everyone watches now. My oh, dad yeah. actually said to me, yeah, I don't agree with a lot of what Fox says, but they're really a good show. I'm like, son of a bitch, that's not what the news is about. That is the one time I want to be bored. Just give me facts. Leave me alone. Yeah. What the fuck? So it can sink in how horrible like, we fucked everything up. Dad, it's the news, not the song and splish splash show. And that's the song and spl splish splash. I was watching some news while drinking a bottle of booze. Boom, boom, boom. I was referencing your your uh, trivia show. Okay. I know. Okay, I okay, 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 okay. Show. Splish splash show. Splish splash. That's not the name. It was, uh, that was what Spinal Tap said, right? Right? Anyway. Yes. Sorry, I'm going into uh, Simpsons trivia. Anyway. Yeah. Now, that's the thing. Like, liberal comedy news? Let's look at liberal. You know what liberal comedy news is? Mm. News with punch-up. It's like, hey, hey, we're all fucked. Whackity, schmackity, doo. Like, yeah, we're yeah. all fucked. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Liberal comedy is like that thing where it's kind of like network TV comedy where you can't say certain words and you can't mention the the, 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 the the elephant in the room. I think that's what liberal comedy is like to be like, like a really good sitcom on network TV. Like, right? Like they can't oh say certain God. things that they can't mention. So like what's all behind what's going on, but it's still fun. Jesus! Anyway. That's why. Yeah, I mean... You're not wrong. I'm just saying that, like John Oliver and I'm gonna say, and that's why it's capitalism. <laughs> it's like I, I'm just saying, you know. Ferret high fives do make everything better. 
Uh, we're cobalt. Cobalt! Ah! 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 Oh! Hey! Hey, what's up? Hey! Yeah? What's in cave news today, cobalt? Ah, oh, cave news! Hey, I came to. Ah, oh, it's summer, so his belongings are up! Get your ass is ready! I've been doing this the whole time! Did you get the kiss? Did you hear my my joke? No! I was going. Cobalt news! Yay! All right, it's in cave news today. Oh, spelunkings are up. Get your asses ready, <laughs> cause they have to tie the little ropes to them. Cause you know, you have to make sure they're ready for, for 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 tying. In they, traffic, being tied up. In traffic today, there's a pile up on I-94. Everyone to the pile! Yay! Oh! Well, we have to put out the fire. It's a, we 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 sometimes run out of fire. We have to use spoo. And the, and we just like get in the pile and you squeeze out the pile. Whoop. Whoop. They call it a They call it a fat demon. Cause Carl's there in the middle. He's very big. Well, I was in the air. Ah. You sociopath. <laughs> ah! 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 Cobalt. Today in hot news. Oh, there's, yeah, a pizza. news. there's a new pizza. There's a pizza hut in town. It's really a nice hut. Please don't knock it over. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very precarious option, uh, operation. They fear if I should not be making pizza in that hut. It's just straw. There's lots of fire going on. And it could go up at any moment. <laughs> so please come to the pizza hut. There's now a word from our sponsors. Oh, crap. Pizza <laughs> Hut. Pizza Hut has a new deal on their large cheese pizza. Okay. The BLFC special. Oh. Come on in. Use promo code. Security. God damn it, I forgot to start Audacity again. We'll see if the recording works. Fuck. Fuck. I suck. You're the best. Yeah. I can start it now. Yeah, start it now. I'll start it now. Better than nothing. Hey. It's bad! Thank you for the sub! Wait, oh, I think that was a gift sub. Cyborg Waligi! Thank you so much for that gift sub! And hey. I think we are out of cobalt. That's, that's our motto. Welcome to the Dragon Show. It's better than nothing. Welcome to the Dragon Show. It's better than nothing? Yeah, it's, we're, 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 we're just... We're really putting ourselves up on a pedestal there, everyone. We're just oozing with uh, confidence. Oh, mm. my God. Pizza the Hut. <laughs> Put pizza... <laughs> Are you hungover thinking about your life choices on a Sunday morning? Come to the Dragon Show. I mean, now that's a pretty accurate uh, t tagline, yeah. That's fair. Regretting your weekend? Start off your week wrong with the Dragon Show. Be angry about your job here at the Dragon Show. You can't question your life choices when you don't understand what's happening on the screen. The Dragon Show. So I gotta say, I wish I could remember his name. Uh, Pandez showed us him. He's a Twitch streamer okay. that does the fast food uh, conspiracy club or whatever, and he puts out all that information about fast food places. Are you talking about the guy who talks like this? Yeah, and, then, and I'm going to tell here. you some things that are really, uh, yeah, he just goes like this, and he looks like Lionel Richie. And I'm going to drop some knowledge that you didn't know. But yeah, that's the guy. And, good. oh, yeah, and his knowledge is freaking fantastic. Yeah. So right now he's my favorite because it's like watching revenge porn where the people you got revenge against can't do anything. Yeah, you, you yeah. Your eyes? Oh, no, it's just this is normal. This is normal. This is normal. Sorry, this is what you get. Yep. Top Hat Gabriel knows who we're talking about. Come here. Yeah. I lost one contact in my fall. Oh, yeah, this happened. Uh, you let's, fell down some stairs. That? I did fall down some stairs. Fell down some stairs. <laughs> no, this is just tearing up from my eyes being disabled. <laughs> uh, anyway. The thing that helps your eyes is stabbing your retinas. Mm -hmm. Progress. Yeah. Fun. So yeah, Zanny took a spill. Zanny, nah. tell us about your spill, little cobalt. Were you running around like a cobalt? We were getting back from the gay bar, and we decided to have a foot race. Because you're 17. Look, she said she could get to her place faster than I could. What? 
No more lube. No more lube. What the hell do you think our sex life is like, yeah, Gabe? Please. I need. Oh all my the god. Lube is a human right. I need lots of lube. Huh? Atlas wins. What's that? I think that's called a drag race. Ah. Nice, Atlas. Well done. Oh, I'm out of coffee. And then we're like, we're trans, you bitches. <laughs> we're trans, you bitches. Like, oh hell. I thought RuPaul was here. Oh Not my that dark. God. Anyway. Uh, oh, my God. So, so yeah, she took off. I don't know. Uh, she, yeah, we, that, that's her gentleman. car. Uh, we, we, we were on our way to her place, and, like, she, like, starts running. And, like, oh, no, I can beat her because I am an old athlete, blah, blah, blah. And I was. And I started, and I was really proud of myself because, you know, I'm twice as... Or she's twice as skinny as me, but I'm like, and I'm kicking out the, on the old rockets like I used to in high school and shit. Like, so I was going about twice as fast here. Well, my legs couldn't keep up at that pace like I used to when I'm kicking in the high, high gear. So literally I'm going too fast for my legs and I fall forward Ugh. and just biff it hard. You just see my oh, blood everywhere. You should see my face. It was pretty bad. So, oh my fun. god! This was the worst of it. My knee and my leg were actually pretty much the worst of it, but uh, it was fun. Got all cleaned up. Nice stinging feel. You feel alive. What? I'm serious. I don't have a problem. Shut up. <laughs> I just washed all. You know, nothing worse than I got in in, in grade school. I used to like get these kind of things all the time. Like especially in the, on the your. 40. Yeah. Those are the injuries for grade school. But we grew up where they didn't care about regulations no for race, our... No race, only taste. I... No races, only taste. We have so much asphalt. We'll just eat appetizers. We don't have to run. <laughs> Nikolai, thank you for See? that sub. How about it? Some people get it. So, oh, for we cannot wait for Anthrocon. This is going to be a blast. We're going to have so much fun out there. Yeah, literally outrunning out my own freaking legs. That's, that's the best way. That's the only way I can describe it. Oh, hype train's so close. Here comes the train. Oh, no. Here comes the train. Choo, 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 come on. Choo, man, come on. Get train. off that train. Choo, 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 choo. I want to get on the train. Come on. Choo, you choo, can't steal choo, the train. Choo, man, train. Choo, choo, choo. Got to oh, be at the front. Oh, I get you, Atlas. Choo, choo, choo. So, good morning. Choo, choo, choo. I'm at the front of the train. Choo choo, or, or the chain dies. Choo choo choo, or the rocket plug it in. Choo choo choo, got a strapless strap on. Choo choo choo, now I'm on the train. Choo choo choo, it's an envy train. Choo choo, okay, I'm done. What? Okay, sorry. Choo choo choo, working on the train. Choo choo choo, I got some. Couldn't play. <laughs> Lies, I could never have good and plenty. I'm a kobold. Here comes a new kobold kid. He's called Insatiable Bitch. <laughs> you've heard it go. You've heard it good and plenty. Well, here's Insatiable Bitch. It's like good and plenty, but there's like way more. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> and then you're just like, oh my god! But you can't stop having any. Oh, thank you for the hype train. I think it's, I don't know why I'm still kobold, but I'm a kobold because we're in hype train. <laughs> And I'm the conductor. Oh, but yeah. It's, uh, speaking of pride, uh, hype train. Thank you, level one. Check out my shirt. This is an awesome shirt. Uh, can I see it? Yeah. Skeleton pride. Skeleton trans pride. You can be a skeleton with enough surgery. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, I, just, I just killed alkali. Well, it's true. You can't become a skeleton without enough surgeries. Oh my god! God damn it, Sam! Congratulations! I'm dead now. I'll bring Pony you back to life! Trans bitch! <laughs> Pony trans bitch. Okay. Okay. You can become a skeleton, but. Okay. Okay. Get boned. Get well. Get boned out of a doctor. Necroman. Unfortunately. Yes. You gave me a good idea. Okay. New rule for the Dragon Show. All right. When the hype train is active. Hype, hype. 
You are the Cobalt Conductor. Oh, You're going to be playing a Cobalt and Nero. you got to get used to doing the voice. Choo-choo! For an extended period of time. You are the Cobalt Conductor of the Hype Train. Oh, there's so much to conduct. There's so much hype. Uh, how do you, how do, you ah, do it? It's flying everywhere. Wait, what, what is flying? You're on track. Well, it's, it's, it's the hype is the fuel. So you have to play tech now. You go, techno, chugga, 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 oots, oots, oots. And then you get, like, people dancing in the in the booth. Like, Everybody has to get up on the hype train. You can't sit on the hype train. <laughs> you just like an electric shock. Uh, reaction videos, kind of. I mean, like, we never know the, 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 the rules to that. Yeah. It's like, will we get sued for this? Oh, wow, that was cool. Like, oh, no. Uh, also, oh, yeah, sometimes. Sith, I, I, I'll be honest with you, if I'm going to do a reaction video, it has to be something I truly appreciate, because I, like, being genuine is like half of the show, so I never want to be like, oh my god, look at this new socks! Like, I, I don't know what reaction videos are supposed to be. There's been incidences, you, uh, stealth filmed me reacting to, uh, Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, that one was a genuine reaction video. I agree. That was a great video. Mm. Like, I didn't even mind that you did that. I was actually very happy that you did. Sure, yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, I don't know how I feel about reaction videos because uh, I think most of the time my reaction would be pleasant surprise, but... Yeah, yeah. You want to, like, appreciate... I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like, you don't feel... Well... Hatless, I fucking love new socks. I know you're, you're conscious about am I adding enough to this to be releasing it myself. Am I, like... You know, is that like an artistic thing? Like, I'm putting this up on my thing. Uh, is that a thing? That, that no, that could be a thing. Yeah, I could see that being mm -hmm. a thing. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want bad, bad wrestling moves, Chinner. People get hurt. Oh, yeah, no, I don't like that, Chinner. Yeah. Uh, fake violence, Marvel, super fun. Real violence and people getting hurt. There's very few things that uh, irk me more. Yeah. 709164! I, what? Base is that number in, and hello, how are you, my friend? <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, by the way, we did a thing on OBS before this. I clicked some buttons, and I there must have been an update Sick. or something. That's awesome. But uh -huh. we kept we we know y'all we, we kept losing the audio version on our on our class yeah. Sundays. Yeah, we are aware that our recorded videos, our podcasts, are having a problem right now. We have a fix in place right now. We're going to see if that works, and if it doesn't work, we have a Band-Aid that uh, we'll miss the very beginning of the show because we suck. Yeah. But, uh, we, yeah, we, we are working on fixing the problem. Sorry about that, everyone, but we do appreciate your continued support. Yeah. Uh, it's so weird to me that, like, it'll be different versions that they see. They could see the whole show with the audio, and then, like, the, the, the recorded version will be all screwed. That's so weird to me. You know, because yeah, yeah. there are two different versions. There's the VOD feed and then this thing. Yeah, no, that is so a strange idea. But hey, we'll figure it out. By the way, you're still a cobalt driving I'm a still train. cobalt! Choo, 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 choo! Uh, Help! Now, no, uh, uh, ah. oh, hold on. Do, 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 oh, do, fuck, there's a cow! Do, 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 do. We have to make a dance to get off the hype train. Oh, oh. Cobalt news! Please. Cobalt news! Cobalt news! I have a question for you, Cobalt! There's a runaway oh, hype train! Holy shit, let's no, go to no, break news! Let's go to the chopper! Here, I'll hold this. Oh. There, now the microphone is real! Wow! Alright! <laughs> Sorry, it's just a natural reaction. This is Cobalt. Sith wants to know, what do you guys usually do? Um, I'm sorry. You understand? Let's go. Cool. Okay, well, you're explaining what we usually do right there. You nailed it. <laughs> natural reaction is for Cobalt. Oh my Wait god. Uh, Every time you put a microphone to a kobold's face, it's just me like <laughs> We we want to put kobolds on the news, but every time we give them a microphone, they deep throat the goddamn oh, thing. Oh, just oh, like oh, a furry oh, hey, moon wolf. Let's ask this little fella what they thought. <laughs> it was awful! <laughs> You there are still a cobalt for a minute 51 unless somebody gets that hype train to the next level. There was blood everywhere. Oh, oh my they, god. They just forgot, like, mid-interview. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> it was a huge manatee. It was really crazy. <laughs> he had a nice tank top. Yeah, wild car nine. Some of them just vomit. It was way there too small. There goes all of our viewers. It was way too small. It was a 4X. It was a 4X. Right. It was a huge manatee. Um... We're on the hype train still! Holy shit, level two! Electric Boogaloo! Uh, <laughs> no, I was gonna say. 
What? You're an idiot. I gotta do the hype train as for as long as I can, apparently. Well, I'm trying to figure out what else goes on the hype train, because I've seen Snowpiercer. Oh, that was a it's good like one. It's like that, just with happiness instead of sadness. Yeah, the Cobalt, yeah. the Cobalt Snowpiercer would be a bigger party. Yeah. Everyone would get sushi and eat bugs. Yeah, happy. We call that happy juice. <laughs> happy slurry. Oh, and you don't need to worry about the end. The oh. Cobalts fit inside the gears. You don't need to use children. Just Cobalts go down there. Oh, Fix everything. we call it Jiminy, ju Jiminy Juice. Hey, thank you for that follow, Bounty. We call it Jiminy Juice because it's made from crickets. God damn it. Hand me that Jiminy Juice. I am not morally responsible for this. Mm. Sounds like it would give me advice on how to be a human. It's very specific. It's weird. Final question. You only have 18 seconds to answer it. Oh, okay. Cobalt News. Do, 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 do. What kind of cargo does the Cobalt... Sorry. Oh. What kind of cargo does the Cobalt oh. hype train carry? Stop trying to eat my microphone. Oh. Stop it. Uh, it's mainly, mainly hype in the form of Cobalts because they're so hyped. I'm like, oh my god, this is too much. I mean, like, we're kobolds. Right? Time! Hey. Good work. Thank y'all. <laughs> what Janie the fuck? fucking... No, Janie fucking Wisconsin. Jimmy fucking Christmas. Oh, okay. Jimmy fucking Christmas. <laughs> what were we doing about Santa? Oh my god. No, we can't do, we can't do that, but on Dragon Show. What? What, are you talking about your gay dragon? No, I'm talking about gift-giving Santa. Oh, yeah, the gift getting say No, we're not allowed to do that. Okay, anymore. okay, okay. <laughs> uh, Maybe. Uh, why don't you tell them about your uh, new. I am redoing the backyard. I am an outdoor person. There is nothing that uh, relaxes me as much as sitting outside under a structure with a tin roof, listening to the rain hit off the top, and looking off into a decent level of greenery. So that's what I'm working on in my backyard right now. Zan, Zan likes it. They love the idea, and I'm very happy. I think you're going to love this. But none of it back there was them. I wanted something that was truly them. So, Zan, what did you decide to put into our little paved paradise I'm making? Oh, that's our monthly dragon, right? Yep. Yeah. I got a dragon. I got a blow-up dragon. I got a Halloween dragon. Right, well, I do too. It's a big black Halloween dragon. That's a pretty cool can, dragon. It can wear a lot of shirts. <laughs> Every month it will have a new shirt to show what month it is. All right. Okay, so now in our backyard we will have budding plants, mm -hmm. flowers, a small gazebo, a sitting area, a fire pit, and a goddamn dragon. Now I have a question. Mm -hmm. Do we put the dragon off on its own in the little rock garden next to the door? Or do we put it next to the bird feeder so the birds can either be terrified or friends with our soon-to-be-covered shit dragon? Please buy the please buy the bird feeder. You want to buy if, the bird feeder? If I could, like, make its hands do the Venus de Milo covering titty and Vijay, I totally would. We own glue! I mean, it's true. Like, uh Chinner, you caught that. My, Shut up. My, my, my privates. Uh... We need an eye, but, but yeah, we got a big Halloween dragon, and uh, it's going to be wearing a rainbow shirt for Pride for this Pride, month. Okay, so Pride month, they get yeah. the rainbow shirt. So what month is this right now? I know it's Pride. What, okay, so by the way, uh, so this weekend, we went to visit our very good friends, Sue and Benny. It was so nice to see them. Uh, and in their kitchen, they have the greatest clock ever, and we desperately need that clock. Ah. Do you remember what it was? Yes, the streamer clock. It's a streamer clock. All it has is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday in a 24-hour radial, but the hour hand, the only hand on it, moves to the point where if you look at it, you can actually see at what point of the day you're in, so you can still kind of estimate the time. Mm -hmm. It actually works really well. So we desperately need one of these. I might need one for the month, apparently, because I don't know what month it is anymore. All right, so June, Pride Month. They're going to get a Pride shirt. Got that. July. What does is, what is, what is your dragon get for July? Uh, shame Month? No. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, it is Shame Month. It's uh, America. No. <laughs> so we dress it up in uh, America clothes. Like, fine. Mm, 
hold on, hold on. It's American. I think we both know what we need to do for this one. Okay. We need to have it standing out there in a uh, medical gown. You know, okay. one of the backwards, like you've, you've gone in for a checkup. Okay. Uh, holding an empty purse. Ooh, okay, all right. There all you right. go. All okay, right, yeah. so there we go. There's July. I like, I like it. Just doing, showing off statements. American... Okay, fine. And there are fireworks in the purse. Fine. We'll put, oh, we'll, you are UK. July is our 4th of July. It's a super uh, patriotism month. Put, I think that's very silly, but I do like fireworks. I'll put so. my pink and blue AK that I get from Joe Biden. There you go. In front that's of the, right. Yeah, just to show that we don't have fucking around. The A Gay 47. A Gay 47. Pink and blue model. Yep. All right, so that's July. August. A Gay 69. A Gay 69. S Perfect. Um, the Statue of Liberty holding a bad dragon. Okay, so we, as much as I love the Statue of Liberty holding a bad dragon, first off, it has to always be the same dragon because we're not buying multiple dragons. We are not buying multiple. We are not buying multiple dragons. Eventually. Damn it. Uh, well, I was I was bothered that there is a there is a dragon for. Let's see. There's a fucking Patriot Dragon. Of there's a Halloween there Dragon. There's a St. Patrick's Day Dragon. There's a Valentine's Day Dragon. There's a Christmas Dragon. There is no Pride Dragon. That's bullshit. That's, are you kidding me? Like, we're the ones in the dragons the most. Jesus! Come uh, on! Uh, uh, I haven't noticed it. This is ridiculous. You know why? Yeah. The dragon community started off gay. Do you remember the original dragon, the one you grew up with? Uh... Who? Poof the magic dragon. Oh, yeah. That's Poof. right. Poof the, the magic dragon, dragon lives by the bathhouse. Live, wait. Lives by the steam works. There it goes. It, it, that one right, that one rhymes with the original song. Poof the magic dragon. Lives by the steam, works and offers and swallows come and lots of stuff. In a land called Galilee, the steam works has expanded. He lives in Rehoboth Beach. Oh, okay. Rehoboth Beach. Uh, yeah. In a land called Rehoboth Beach. There we go. We got it. Poof, the magic dragon. Gets lots of lube. That's just cause he needs it to. So it should be a human right. <laughs> lube is a human right. Anyway. Love's in the air. Love's in the air. <laughs> We're not kobolds right now. I'm just doing this. No, we are kobolds right now. Oh, we are kobolds. Yeah, we are oh, kobolds right now. You have to tell the ADHD person. As in, As in, we're we are gay. so gay. Good to see you. All right, now cobalts are off. <laughs> Susan Boyle. Oh, no. Smoke, yes, that is what we are uh, referring to. Mm. Yeah, we're dorks. Snoop the magic rapper. Snoop oh, my God. the magic. Okay. Wild card nine. When is Xan not a cobalt? Mm. I don't know. When, when they are one of their three personality traits. Horny, hyper, angry. Horny, hyper, angry. Two of those are kobolds. One of those is a dragon. That's fair. One of those is a goddamn dragon. I think it's hyper, horny, angry. I guess that's the... Hyper, horny, angry. Because hyper wakes me up, then, then I get horny. And if I don't take care of it, I get angry. So that's that's a chain of events, so... <laughs> You're like the seven le levels of depression, but just for daily life. Thanks. <laughs> Anytime. Love you. Make sure to properly sex your kobold, or they might bitch like a wildfire. <laughs> Whoa! Take it easy, Tic Tac. <laughs> <laughs> Put a dick in that mouth, and they'll be they'll be shutting. <laughs> All right, Other, okay, so somebody said there's a fourth hungry. Uh, Gabe, Zanny isn't hungry, but Zanny never needs to stop eating. That was so funny this weekend. Yeah. Over at Sue and Benny's. Sue and Benny made us homemade marinara 
for just some of the best mm. spaghetti and meatballs. Oh my God, it was unbelievable. I am a very large guy, but I genuinely can't eat as much as I used to. Uh, like to a semi-alarming degree, like there's definitely a problem. I've got a tapeworm. Eh, at least I'm skinny. No, yeah. But like, then, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, it's like you said, like I will, I will have my moments where I just, I'm not hungry. And, like not at all. Right? And then, but when I am, the seal is unlocked. And oh. I can't stop. Oh, that was what, what was that? Three bowls of pasta? And I'm just sitting there like, I remember being able to do that. I miss being so full, I go into a small coma. Like now I just get sick. Oh, is it Sue says it was four? Give me a kiss. Well, you know what the Little secret pasta is, right? Dragon. What the hell is your secret? I'm genuinely concerned. Uh, honestly, no, for real. It's because I started running again. Oh, that yeah. I oh, actually, I that can't... makes a lot of sense. I run for half an I, I run for half an hour without stopping, and I'm actually pulling it off. And my body's like, "Holy shit, we need energy!" And so it just wants to carb the fuck up. So just making. No, that is what happens. No, that makes yeah. perfect sense to me. But I just want to correct you there. Running without stopping isn't necessarily true. When you come skidding to a halt, that is called stopping. Okay, fine. You came home. You were so banged up. I'm like, did you break your nose? You're like, maybe. <laughs> well, it's funny. Like, I, I've been experimenting with my low-dose Adderall. Adderall it's actually helped me get some work done. And uh, I, I, the one time I was taking it, I'm like, yeah, I have so much fucking energy. I'm just wired. And you're like, go for a run. I'm like, okay. And I, I, I just did not stop. I just went straight for half an hour. And I had not gone for I had, I had not. Ran in a long time, so that was a nice way to kick it off. The next day, I was jelly legs. Yeah, no, the next day, you, you and I spent the entire day on the couch. Yeah. Oh, and yes, and Sue is absolutely right. No, 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 it was like one of those nice, small, little scoops of spaghetti every time, but, uh -huh. oh, God, I was so jealous. God, because it was so good. I'm just like, can I just have, like, four more meatballs and a pound more spaghetti? I, I just, please... But no, like that would have killed me. Greg, uh, no being straight. No, gay, the gays run too. That's true. I've seen it on Lakeshore Drive. The gays run too. Oh my God. I have, pr I have proof. <laughs> I, have I was poof. just uh, talking to a friend of mine who just moved uh, to Chicago. He's an old, old uh, mm -hmm. co worker from back when I was on the trading floor. He just dropped me a line mess randomly. Moved back to Chicago along Lakeshore Drive. Uh, and he's an old queen. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's just like, this is the greatest thing ever. Every morning, I get to go out and do my run with a hundred other people around. It makes me feel like I'm part of this big community, and I'm like, wow, I would have never thought of that, like, running in a location with a bunch of people running, Lakeshore Drive. Absolutely. And then I think back to, like, the hiking paths when I used to mm. go hiking a lot, and that camaraderie, you feel every person you walk past Absolutely, in the forest. Man. Hey, morning, how you doing? Do you have a dog? May I pet it? Ow! Well, like... I, 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 I shit you not, there was a days, especially during COVID, where getting to learn to learn uh, to working at home, l learn to live working at home, there was days where I just didn't see any other person. Now, yeah. I, it was driving me insane. I just had to go out to a grocery store just to see another human being. Yeah, no, I like, get that. Even though I talk to people on Telegram and Discord and stuff, there's just something your brain doesn't. Yeah, craves other people. Cause no, fucking, I, that makes sense. You know sense. how it goes. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, I had something to go off on that because it was actually... Oh, it's gone now. Fuck. Bye-bye. It had everything to do with what we were talking about. It had to do with the weekend, going to Benny and Sue's, blah, blah, blah. Running. Kobold. Running. That was it. Okay, so we, I was talking about how you earlier, uh, I grew up being an athlete, and it's like, no being straight. The funny thing you say that, it's like I just realized my life running around as one of those jocks... I, I will tell you, we were all high on exercise. We were oh, exercise. Exercise is the is the opiate of the masses. For a lot of people, exercise is the opiate of the masses because they're literally like, well, what's the what's the happy juice that goes to your brain? Well, for you, it's estrogen. I know. I well, you're talking about dopamine. Dopamine, yeah. So dopamine. Like literally, like it, it it hops you up on dopamine all the time. And you're like, oh, I gotta still play basketball. Like, you know, 
Oh, my dad beat me. Guess what? No, I'm sorry. I guess I play basketball. I, was... <laughs> I played Nero. <laughs> oh, that well, yeah. Dopamine. Well, there you go. And I, I would wrestle and stuff. So, yeah. But, yeah, you're going to go through a basketball. So, it is funny how you realize shit like that. It's like, oh, yeah. It's like, what? That actually does work for some things. So. See? And that's why this is a joke. Some straight tricks work, is what I'm saying. And that's why you shouldn't do sports. You played sports and learned to trick your brain into getting you high. You got high on that dopamine. I played Nero, tricked my brain into getting me high, high on that dopamine, to which I turned to my friend and said, this is fun. They said, you know, it's more fun. Here's some weed. And then I got actually high. See? Yeah. It's better. Oh, it is better. Absolutely. <laughs> fucking with you. It's just a different way to, like, make you forget about your problems. Gray Foxen, thank, thank you for you. that sub, buddy. Foxen? Fat-ass marks. Fat-ass marks. They're like, I'm not running for nobody. You just want me to run so Weed. I forget you got your boot on my neck. <laughs> Damn it, fat-ass marks. I'm going to eat another bucket of chicken. Oh, fat-ass marks. Oh, fat marks. Fuck you, I'm not moving. You build that Look, canal. Guys, fat ass Marx has his opinions. <laughs> I know I know he's annoying, but he's got a lot of fans. He's really important. He's, like, we can't get rid of fat ass Marx. Fuck you, I'm not moving. The provolone letariat. That's that that's what he created. Oh god, I love the provolone letariat. <laughs> Nietzsche's just like I can't stand this motherfucker. He just smells like fried chicken and won't shut up about the ruling class. I'm sorry, Nietzsche, but Fat Ass Marx has to stay on the show. Emmanuel Kant, can you get in here for a second? I can't! Can't do it! He'll eat me! Oh, God. Fuck you, I'm not gonna eat you, I'm not moving. That would imply... I'd have to chase you. Guys, Fat Ass Marx is a lot. I can't. I just can't. All right. Anyway. What are we oh, doing? my God. Tom and Gabriel. We went to a shop. That that's was my, so fun. That's my That's my transition. Good transition. transition. No, that's not Trans your transition. transition. I was there for your transition. Yeah. It took two hours more than it should have. See, trans transitions have ADHD, so they're just literally all over the place. Oh, my God. That is a trans transition, if I ever saw one. Well, out visiting Sue and Benny, they took us to a traditional toy shop. Mm. Oh, it was so cool. Hell yeah. They had board games from my... Ch I don't mean like, you know, the classic style Monopoly, which they had. I'm talking about like a giant box of Fireball Island. I'm talking about a complete set for a few hundred dollars of Hero Quest. Mm. And Zanny got something. I have to show you the video of uh, the guy talking about why Hero Quest is so good. Have you seen this? The video of Hero Quest. I'm going to explain to you why Hero Quest is the best game ever made. I mean, I've seen, seen stuff like that. I no. don't know if I've seen that one. There's an amazing Hero Quest video you have to see. I would watch that. Anyway, if you look up Hero Quest, you'll probably see what I'm talking about. There's this guy who explains why Hero Quest is so great. Anyway. And it is the most kick ass toy store. Nice. Yeah, so they have stuff from every era. They had anime stuff, old comic book stuff, you you name it. Yeah. Small section of magic cards. Uh, they had a, a bigger section of, like, classic toys, literally from my age or prior. Mm -hmm. uh, traditional steel cap guns. Mm -hmm. Like, not a big gun fan, uh, but as a kid, I had a bunch of toy guns. Like, those things were the shit when we were kids. They yeah. were heavy. They actually fired the caps. You could injure each other. Like, that was cool shit. <laughs> Are you talking about those ones with the little, with, with they had the paper, is that what you're talking about, the caps? Kind, yes, kind of. I never I mean, understood these, how those work, yeah. They were, they were just a small, uh, the cap is the part of the, it, it's just a small charge. Ah. It goes in there, the hammer strikes it, it makes a pop. It's like a tiny, tiny, Firework, contact uh, firework, I guess. Ah, I really don't know how to kids. explain it. Gunpowder rolls. I think you're right about that, actually. There was gunpowder in that. Yeah, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gunpowder dab. That's a better way to say it. Thank you. That's funny. Oh, I loved the smell, too. Yeah, right? Yeah, they had that. They had uh, 
We this? only got the snakes. Show them what you got. Oh, yes. Sandy had to get something, and I agree. I wanted it in the house, too. I got something too, Yepsu. Zanny got the best toy. Zanny got the best toy. Hey, Brooklyn. Hey, Brooklyn. Hey, Brooklyn. Keep that up. Keep that up. Hey, Brooklyn. I'm really sexy, Brooklyn. All right. I bought, I bought my other boyfriend. <laughs> All right, now show them this. So Zanny got a big old gar <coughs> gargoyle. <coughs> I got what I wanted. A way to annoy every single person who plays D&D &D with me. Hit it. Yeah! That's right. I've got a beholder. I've got a beholder. That's how you right? Hey, How's it going? <laughs> this is my show now. Everything I think is real. Uh, wild card nine. Well, okay, we're gonna talk about this one for a bit, Zan. I got our topic for now. I'm a beholder. That does not look very Disney-like. What does it? Gargoyle. Oh yeah. Right? What's my beholder's name? Uh, Eileen. 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 I like Eileen. Okay, Zanny. They just said. Uh, that does not look very Disney-like. Uh, for gar the gargoyles. So first <coughs> off, <coughs> gargoyles was not Disney-like. Yep. Gargoyles, when we were growing up, gargoyles <coughs> was the first time I encountered as a child, um, continuous storyline, storytelling, that mattered to me. Do you remember why they made it? Like, literally why? You know more about gargoyles than I do. Go for it. They were filling a market uh, gap. What was the market gap? Uh, Batman the Animated Series was catching on hot, and they wanted one to be like that. That kind of felt that. So so grunge was just happening. It was the early 90s. We're getting into that. Bat so so they were literally Son trying to bitch. mash something that was Batman kind of like Batman the that. Animated Series, the one drawn on black paper yeah. you're talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they wanted That was what they were fighting against? Yeah, that's kind of what their guide. Fuck! And I think that when you really look at it, you can see how they kind of I drew inspiration I very much from so, Batman. yeah. Because, yeah, it had a lot of the similar, but in a Disney way. Oh, hell yeah, Wild Card 9. You know? I'd say, yes, it was in a Disney way, as exemplified on the PSA episode. Oh my God. Brooklyn gets a gun. <laughs> However, and I give a lot of credit for that, <coughs> while that episode may have been horrible and super PSA, you know what? From that point on, he hated guns. At least they, at least they stuck to it. Yeah, he has a stupid moment like that. That's great. Like, okay, I, I, it's a kid show. Good moral. Fine, I'll give it to you. It's fine. The episode's fine. I don't actually hate Disney it. Disney cartoons now with trauma. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally, like fuck. It's well, a I gun. told you the Lexington episode really fucked with me. It's why I, I play a villain one. so much. Lexington turning out to be a villain in a one-off future episode. He was gay, did crime. He was gay, did crime. <laughs> and from that episode, like, it stuck with me for so long. That's when I started playing uh, uh, villains. Like, in my play, as a kid, you know, you, you just play games with your friends. I was always the bad guy. I went to Nero after a year of playing. I took over the plot team to be the bad guy. I have been plot more at my LARP than I have played the game. I've been longer on the plot team. Why? I like playing the bad guy. Mm -hmm. Like It's just the exact opposite of me. It was the exact opposite of Lexington. Lexington was the most caring. He was the intelligent one. A little neurodivergent, but a really fun guy. And just, you don't know what made him snap. Just in the future, he had obviously snapped. Yeah. And I loved it. Fucking well, loved I, it. I thought they kind of hinted at, you know... Basically, oh, it was Broadway. Thank him, you, B. Le him leaving, uh, uh, Goliath leaving was kind of the oh, that, they, that, you're domino right. to start his you're right. turn. Because in that you future, know? Goliath had been gone for like yeah, 
Enough that Le- Elisa Mazza was either yeah she was dead in that timeline I think I think yeah, she had died yeah. of like age or just in the war or whatever. So he's just like yeah when you left it was a fucking big deal. Yeah okay you're right uh-huh. it's been so long. Since oh no I it's okay that. but yeah but yeah. Oh, I love that shit. Are you kidding me? Gargoyles was influenced by gummy bears. Now, well, it's it's like one of those things. It was one of the first times you could see a villain who you fully remember as a good guy. You know, like like the, I'm just used to this person being a good guy. Yeah, and that's why wrestling's awesome. Huh? Huh? I think you're right. That is maybe the first time as a kid I saw that tr- trope used. Yeah. Holy shit! You know what that was for a lot of pe- people? Who? When Hulk Hogan became a bad guy. I'm like, Hulk Hogan's that, a bad guy? NWO? What? Was that yeah. New World Order? Okay, uh-huh. I kind of remember yeah, that. Yeah, imagine your entire 20-whatever-year life, Hulk Hogan's always just been this force for good, and you hear, wait, Hulk Hogan's a bad guy? What the fuck? It was wow. just like, it was like, okay, I guess I'll watch. Okay, yeah. yeah. No, I'll give you that was, one. I'll yeah. give you that one. But yeah, where this all started, Disney uh, really nailed Gargoyles. It's, uh, I think, one of the very few shows, Batman the Animated Series, Gargoyles, uh, I can't think of any other cartoons from our childhood. That did long-term storytelling? No, 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 that that I can watch today. Um, like Animaniacs, that, but that's a, a beast of a different story, you know what I mean? Uh, Tiny Tunes. T- again, holds no, up. Not, not a comedy Not all one. of them. With, a, like, a little bit of action or drama, just something more than our joke-a-day, amazing I, childhood cartoons. I don't know if I just liked what they were trying to do with uh, Pirates of Dark Water. I don't know if it's actually that watchable. It's just there are pirates, and there's a monkey bird, and there's furries, and <coughs> they're trying to do this high seas. <coughs> I think it's, like, mediocrely pulled off, but I just love everything they're trying to do. <laughs> Which is a weird thing, you know. Yeah, that's fair. I appreciate the attempt. When I was a kid, Skeletal Warriors got me ah. and had a continuing storyline. Could not tell you if it holds up today. I just know that I got to see my favorite villain get actually killed at the end of a kid's cartoon. And that was so rare. Like, holy shit, that guy's dead dead. Like, that guy's dead dead. <laughs> cool. oh, yeah, I have one for you. Tailspin, I love. <coughs> I, have a deep- uh, I don't know if I watched enough Freakazoid. What do you got? I have a deep cut for you. That's an, actually a good show that DuckTales. a lot of people haven't seen. What's that one? That might not, they might not know. What's that? This actually holds up, if you go back and watch it, is Mighty Max. I don't think I ever watched Mighty Max. <laughs> you know what fucking Mighty Max is? No. You know Polly Pocket? Yes. A little thing? Yes. They made a counter for kids, for boys. Mighty Max. You're fucking with me. Then they made a cartoon, and I shit you not, the cartoon is good. It's about a boy whose his little his little fucking hat comes off. He goes to he makes a portal. It sounds so stupid. He's got a, basically a big cronk uh, body bodyguard character, and he has a little owl furry, which is why I watch it, of course, because that is called Virgil, and he's played by our boy Tony J. Tony J. Isn't it? Okay. Yeah, in- he's the old owl. Yeah. So it's the three of them. And it's actually, like, I, I want to say the main character is played by the guy. I, I think it's Rob Paulson is the main guy because I recognize his voice. Dude. Yeah. Okay. I, like, yeah, I'll seriously, check that good, out no, with you. I, I want to, like, watch it and see yeah, if it holds let's up. Yeah, just find out, like, if there's, like, a top three episodes. We'll yeah. just watch them. That Has anyone fun. else in chat seen Mighty Max? I was just well, we had a few people saying Mighty Max, but we <laughs> did have a question, Master Kelper. Uh, Gunsmith, I'm going to need you to help me. Have you seen the cartoon? The Cat Bearer. Someone knew, yeah. Holy shit. Uh, have you seen the cartoon Dog City? It is very funny. Is it called oh Dog God. City? Because if it's Dog City, I've never... I, no matter I've what that is, I haven't seen Dog it. Dog City. Okay, you know what that is? I saw it when it came out, of course. Is it new? It's very furry. No, it's really old. I think like one or two episodes were released, one of those kind of things. Okay. It was definitely like a uh, like an attempt okay, to make a... He says it's called Dog City. Cool. Nighttime cartoon for adults thing. Oh. I thought so. Not like adults, but you know, like 
Yeah. I'm was, like, uh, okay, they're saying it's a deep cut. You're saying it's funny. It's an adult animated series. It's been so long since I saw it. I want to say, like, the main guy was a detective, maybe. A detective puppy? I Paw Patrol, but for adults? I want to say it was very, like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jim Henson series. What? Oh, nice. Yeah. It in, was. In. Yeah, yeah. Download. <laughs> okay, okay. I forgot about it. We'll have to do Dog City. Do right now? No. <laughs> well, I remember Dog City. Dog Zanny, City and Mighty Max. So, we have a horrible understanding in this house. I will clean off mm. countertops. That is my job. Zan can't see it. Physically impossible for them to clean a countertop. It's like painting white on white. They cannot see where they've been. It's just not worth it. I, on the other hand, cannot download shit off the internet. Because Zan watched me do it once, like, you're just getting viruses. And annoyingly took the keyboard from me. And I'm like, you know what? I'm fine with this. You save our computers and I will clean the countertops. And I think this is a damn good... This is good. We're learning. Oh. <laughs> like, like, no, you gotta use VPN in, uh, incognito... Alkali, that says it's a virus. <laughs> It's got a skull and crossbones and everything. It's, oh, I turned you on. I got it. <laughs> what? Clink. Clink. I need water. Uh, you, oh, that's our water glass. Okay. That's oh. our water glass. Uh, Danth Anthro Dick Tracy. I mean, basically, yeah. I would watch Anthro Dick Tracy. That sounds awesome. Um, oh, I forgot. Oh, no. Oh, wild card. That's the beauty of this. Like, I'm kind of jealous uh, because that means that you're going to get uh, to find a lot of cartoons. Like, honestly, I just went. Oh, God, this download. is so sad. Oh, no. Do this Dad, can I move? Download all the virus. I got a T-shirt. <laughs> Thanks, Top Hat. I love that shirt. That's such a cool one. This was also for that was from the uh, got another Harley the Quinn game shirt. one, right? Yeah, the game one. Yeah, because I'm your Harley, of course. Oh, I fucking love Harley. That's I'm your Harley Quinn. More. I'm, I could never have. A, I'm not ready for a Harley Quinn. I have a couple. Yeah. I'm kind of a Harley, but yeah. Yeah, I know you are. I would hit that Harley. Oh. Anyway. See, that's the thing. Uh, they're talking about cartoons that they uh, that they didn't get to see. There are so many insane ones out there, and since we're on the topic, Harley Quinn, like, ah! first season of Harley Quinn is the, some of the best dialogue and sets up a lot of characters. Second season, they struggled a bit to figure out the direction, but it was fun. Yeah. And then third season, some of the best Batman oh, I've ever seen. Right? Like, that show, and of course, so queer-friendly. So insanely queer friendly, which brings us to our other two oh shows we're going to talk God. about right now. Mm -hmm. First, so a few days ago, I decided I needed to cry. I don't know why. Sometimes you do that. So I watched the last episode of Adventure Time again, and dear God. Yeah. Dear God, everyone, like, it. get ready for the longest fucking year of your life, but watch Adventure Time. It's, it's... It's so many episodes. Fuck me. Yeah. It's too long. But if you do any kind of workout, if you are looking for something to watch, Adventure Time, uh, that show is just absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's a kind of a masterpiece with what they've written. Mm -hmm. Oh, I watch lore videos and stuff like that. And uh, finally, after all this time, I have finally found a plausible uh, theory on Giuseppe. God damn it, I love that episode. God, I love that episode. Finally, we have uh, some insight onto the Giuseppe character, which I thought was super cool. I didn't think you needed insight. He's just like such a metaphor perfect thing. But he yeah, is such I a like... metaphor perfect thing. Yeah. But that doesn't mean I don't want to know why they did it. You can the have the guys deep lore. The show. Let okay. me have my deep lore. I love okay, my deep okay. lore. Okay, all right, all right. I and I accept when things just happen to happen. If there were no lore on Giuseppe, it would not have made that episode any worse or better. I love that episode for what it is. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But I am different from you in that I love my super attention to details. And the fact that Giuseppe was based in universe makes me so happy. <coughs> I get what you're saying. I say, like, they actually took the time to think of, like, the, the logic of to why... 
this, that, and that, and this. Correct. Why would he be there? Why would that happen? What What was he doing? What was his purpose? Oh, yeah. It's oh. actually kind of why I like MJF so much. It's because, like, oh, it's so good. his character, everything he does actually makes sense for his broken ass child Have of a, go a on ma- top man ass. child. Yes. Who needs to succeed to just make his, you know, daddy proud or something. Like, yes. he's, he's just got that weird thing going on like yeah that he has to succeed he has to have this thing i've never seen anyone play an asshole better yeah he is mjf if you don't know what we're talking about he's we're such talking a about righteous asshole wrestling, and a- like aew right and you can see his mo- yeah aew just when he does a bad thing you could see why he thinks it's okay absolutely uh, he is he is the most well it. thought out character in wrestling Mm-hmm. Like even Orange Cassidy, like I get it. That's great. That's a great personality trait, and he brings it to life. Yeah, MJF is written like you would write a D and D supervillain. The motivation, the emotions, uh-huh. literally down to the unused step thirteen, the opening, the the theme song. That was that was oh an old, yeah that was an old D and D trick. Was your villain? Uh, you listen to his theme song before you go in DM. Uh-huh. That was, uh, I, I had theme songs. I, I've told you guys this. I had theme songs for all my Nero characters. Keldrock was, I need a hero. Uh-huh. I need a hero. I would listen to that every time before I pulled up to the campsite. Mm-hmm. Who's leaving? Uh, top Hat's got to go. Oh, have a go in Top uh, Hat. I see ya. Uh, Mendeleev was Red Right Hand because... Okay. Every villain needs to use that song at one point in life. Every villain goes through red, white hand phase. Uh huh. Where that's their thing, because it's red, right hand. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just listening to the opening of Red, Right Hand, you'll understand why it's a perfect fucking <laughs> villain song. Absolutely. And I had a few others. I had a few others. I can't remember what they were. But yeah, no, you would always listen to a theme song. MJF literally has a theme song that everyone gets to listen to before encountering the character. Wrestling is genius. Yeah, wrestling is just D and D with less rules. Yep, and and a good theme song will kind of like, hopefully get that. Like you said, oh, I hear the song. I know exactly what this character is, right? Yes. And for, for I'm not gonna like sing MJF's theme for you. It's a it's an instrumental. Sing it, but it's sing but it's, it. 